The concept of the mark of the beast comes from the book of Revelation, which describes a powerful beast which arises from the earth and takes authority over the people, forcing them to commit idolatry and requiring them to mark themselves with his sign in order to buy or sell goods. Scripture says, and he causes all, the small and the great, the rich and the poor, and the free and the slaves, to be given a mark on their right hands or on their foreheads, and he decrees that no one will be able to buy or to sell except the one who has the mark, either the name of the beast or the number of his name. Father Rodriguez says, there will be a required mark to buy and sell and those who do not take it will be hunted down. If you are captured you will be martyred if you will not convert to the Antichrist and the One World Government. Last month Father Michel Rodriguez made international news after proclaiming that Saint Michael the Archangel came to him in an apparition and told him that a significant event was to take place on December 8, 2021, and that this would be Father Michel's last message for the world. Here is the report on the priest's dramatic encounter with Saint Michael. On the night of March 18, 2021, Father Michel says Saint Gabriel the Archangel appeared to him at 2.30 in the morning to tell him about the holy and great discretion of Saint Joseph with the Holy Family and his role in these times. Here is what Saint Gabriel the Archangel told Father Michel. Hear my words well. The cup of iniquity is overflowing, and soon a time will come for the Church when the persecution of the righteous will take place. It will be this year 2021, the year that has been proclaimed by Pope Francis the year of Saint Joseph. During this year you will be forced to make a choice. Soon the mark of the beast will be imposed on you to buy, to eat or to travel. But a great blessing of protection has been offered to you. The year 2021 is a year of discernment for those who want to be faithful to Christ. To all those who wish to follow Christ, Saint Joseph will assist you. But Saint Joseph must withdraw discreetly on December 8, 2021. By that time, and it has already started, all those who reject Christ find themselves entering into a force of delusion that makes them believe a lie. A social and planetary lie organized and prepared by the acolytes of the Antichrist. They form a false church which is indeed the social body of the Antichrist. They are the ones who rule by fear, domination, by communist and socialist ideologies. They are manipulating for a false universal brotherhood. They have infiltrated the Church of Christ with a view to disfiguring it and desecrating its sacraments. Everything falls into place. Until December 8, these evil acolytes organize themselves through the media and create a climate of suspicion, fear and denunciation. They must prepare for the coming of the unholy by organizing a world order where division and confusion will reign to the detriment of the truth of the teaching of the Church. Conflicts will arise in families arguing about the truth of the mark of the beast. Conflicts between nations will come to such a point that everything will seem hopeless. Hearts will cool, consciences will be bound and darkened by the sin that has pervaded everywhere. Even though the Antichrist seems to suffocate the righteous and the saints, giving the impression of the death of God and the end of the Catholic Church, all of this is only an appearance. When Saint Joseph retires, the Immaculate Heart of Mary will begin the beginnings of the triumph of her Immaculate Heart for her children and for the Church. The Church will go through the pains of a purification where the Virgin Mary will accompany her as Mother of Sorrows. Some of her children will be martyrs, they will wear the palm of the victory of Christ on the day of the triumph of the Immaculate Heart of Mary. At the time when the Antichrist will appear, the time of the refuge is prepared by the holy hearts of Jesus and Mary and the very pure heart of Saint Joseph will sound. The refuges are the work of the three and a half years announced in the book of Revelation. They are the work of God. Small herd do not be afraid. Look with the eyes of faith hope and love. The shelters are under the special protection of Our Lady of Mount Carmel. This is how her Immaculate Heart wanted it. Can you not now see the work of the Holy Family of Jesus, Mary and Joseph? Everything you need to know has been said. Live in confidence to accomplish His divine will and repeat this prayer often, Jesus, I trust in you.